Hello friends, this is Seri Nushri Kantantri here. So today I will be introducing to you the, the topic of rectification of errors. Now we know that in case of a business it is necessary to maintain books of accounts in a proper manner, in a systematic manner following the rules of debit and credit. Now once we have maintained the books of accounts properly by passing the journal entries, posting them to the ledger, finally we close those ledger accounts by balancing those ledger accounts and main intention behind preparing all these and maintaining books of accounts is to enable the preparation of financial statements to make the preparation of financial statements easier we prepare a statement called as trial balance trial balance is just a statement wherein we write all the balances of the different ledger accounts that we have opened in the ledger of the business. Now, this trial balance can be used to prepare the financial statements. Financial statements here I am referring to is the profit and loss account and the balance sheet. Now, when the books of accounts have been maintained arithmetically correct, your trial balance would tally. That means the total of the debit balances of all the accounts would be equivalent to the total of the credit balance. So basically, a tally trial balance shows us that the books of accounts have been maintained arithmetically correct. But however, remember that tally trial balance does not mean that there are no errors in the books of accounts. It is not a conclusive proof that your books of accounts are error free. So to understand the different types of errors that can creep into the maintenance of books of accounts, and the ways in which we can rectify them, we are going to be learning the topic of rectification of errors. In today's topic, I'll be just highlighting about the different types of errors and the objective behind going for rectification of those errors. We've been learning in further other videos that I'll be uploading soon in detail about the, these different types of errors and we'll be solving questions with you. Now, basically errors can be classified into two categories. The first one is a clerical error, the other one is error of principle. Now clerical error, from the term only you know that it is an error which is normally done by the clerk who is recording. The accountant who is recording it, when he commits some sort of mistake while recording it, that type of errors would be classified here. Normally these errors are in the form of error of omission where either the particular accountant has forgotten to record a transaction completely in the books of accounts which is called as error of complete omission or it can be that the transaction has been recorded but only partially. You know that every transaction has two aspect debit and credit both has to be recorded for it to be completely recorded but if a part of it is recorded the other effect is not recorded it would lead to error of partial omission. Then there is error of commission. This is an error where the amount is debited or credited or is posted to the wrong account or the wrong amount is put into the correct account or it is put into the correct account but on the wrong side. So all such type of errors where the transaction is recorded but while posting or carrying forward or while totaling some error occurs due to the clerical error fault of the clerk while doing it. That type of errors are classified as the errors of commission. Finally, we have compensating errors. There might be multiple errors committed by the clerk who is recording the transaction. And those errors might be such that one of the error, a few of the errors might be totaling up to say a particular amount of debit excess. And there might be certain other errors when you total up, they might be leading to credit excess. And those two debit and credit excess might be ultimately totaling up to the same amount. Say there is a debit excess of 1000 and there is a credit excess of 1000 relating to two to three different transactions. Then ultimately your trial balance would tally because there are errors which are there both on the debit and credit side which are compensating each other. So these type of errors are called as clerical errors. The other category is error of principle. When there is a mistake in applying the accounting principle while recording the transaction, that type of errors are called as error of principle. 
means like for example there are items like you have a repair of mesh net if it is a routine repair and maintenance expense you know it is to be treated as a revenue expenditure and it should be charged to the profit and loss account as a revenue expenditure but however if that repair is a major repair which is required so that the machinery can operate or it is a maintenance expense which is required to replace a major component without which you cannot use a machinery then under such circumstance that expense that you incur which is essential for the machinery to operate itself would be in the nature of capital expenditure and has to be capitalized which means it has to go into that particular machinery account it should not be treated as revenue expenditure and then they it that particular machinery would be depreciated so if there is such errors where a revenue expenditure is treated as a capital expenditure or a capital expenditure is treated as a revenue expenditure in the books of accounts then that type of errors are called as error of principle now further in detail in the upcoming videos you will get more detail about these type of errors finally i would also like to highlight why do we need to rectify these errors first thing as you know you want to prepare the financial statements so to prepare the financial statements you require a tally trial balance where which is error free so that whatever financial statements you prepare would be correct so the objective behind rectifying the errors which are there in the books of accounts are these three i've summarized it as these three first one is we, we want to maintain correct accounting records where there are no mistakes secondly we want to prepare a correct financial statement that is our profit and loss account should be giving a true and fair view of the financial performance which means about the profit or the loss which has been incurred profit earned or the loss incurred what is the actual correct amount that is to be found out if there are errors the amount which you are determining would not be correct third is to ascertain the correct financial position financial position means we are talking about the value of the assets and the liabilities which are disclosed in the balance sheet now when you are disclosing those balances in the balance sheet if there are errors in respect of these assets and liabilities and the value you are showing are wrong then whatever financial position you are seeing there is not the correct one so we need to identify the errors see how to rectify them and pass the rectification entries so that we rectify all the errors remove the errors from the accounting records and are ultimately able to prepare financial statements that would give a true and fair view of the financial performance and the financial position of the business so with this objective we are going to be learning how to identify errors and rectify them so i hope this video was helpful to you as an introduction to this topic further please stay tuned please do subscribe to my channel so that you come to know about the upcoming videos which will be related to the rectification of errors please do like share and comment on the video so that it encourages us to do more such concept videos which will be helpful to you so thank you have a great day